um, order we make uh, is that um, the appeal uh, be struck out unless the appellant uh, pays some of £5 million into court uh, by a date uh, to be provided, and we'll hear from you on that, um, that there be no order uh, for security for the cost of the appeal. Um, questions of costs will be determined after you have received the judgment, which will be reserved in the usual way. Uh, you will receive a draft in the usual way, and uh, please let us have any uh, uh, typing uh, or other corrections, um, and, um, and then uh, we will hear from you in writing on questions of costs, unless they can be agreed. Um, so th the two things which one uh, I think perhaps we need to hear for first is the, the payment date, Mr. Shaw. We were thinking about 28 days. <clears throat> well, but obviously we don't have any instructions uh, on that or or an ability to take place that obviously. Um, so so I'd like to ask the court if that's slightly longer than that. Uh, I'm not here, but um, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear that. Given no, I, I was going to ask uh, given that. Um, I was going to say it's summer here, but actually that probably doesn't make any difference. Um, my Lord, I, I just don't have any instructions either way. Um, so I think it's about 28 days. Right. To apply. Well, I'm entirely content with 28 days. Well, I think the answer is we'll, we'll say 28 days. Um, so, and if that presents some super obstacles. I, mean, I know sometimes there are issues over exchange control or some uh, payments from India, but I presume you're your clients are, are paying legal fees etc here anyway so um, yes I, mean, I, I don't know the mechanism to yeah. how that's been cleared um, the, the other issue is um, the, the, the question of expedition has been raised but are, are we're not minded to order any expedition um, unless either party wishes to uh, persuade us to do so um, the only reason for doing so my lord is that uh, obviously the judge had in mind of that, um, I, I'd invite you to expedite. The other reason is that the um, execution is proceeding in, in India, so we're prejudiced by delay, so that would further increase costs, um, which would inform the need for that expedition. So for those reasons, I would invite you to take a great measure. Thank you. Do you want to add anything to that? Um, My Lord, I, I'm, I'm neutral on the question of expeditions. I neither oppose nor, nor invite you to, to make such an order. If you do uh, expedite, just so it is clear that any expedition would uh, are directed, it's not at the expense of uh, my or my uh, junior's availability. So I, would, I wouldn't want a situation where we're unable to, uh, to do the hearing, because obviously that would my, yes, the subject of that. I understand your position. I think. I think the the real question I think we, we have is why, when it's a a money judgment, which in any event it's everyone's agreed won't be enforced won't be enforced for some time. Why it should take priority over other matters in the court of appeal, which have rather more pressing aspects. And I, I, at the moment, I, I don't think we see any reason. No, no, we we won't make any any order for expedition. Um. So unless there's anything else, uh, we will adjourn and you will have the uh, judgment in due course. Well, the only thing I'd, I'd wish to add, and I'm sure I'm speaking on behalf of Mr. Shah, is just to say it's always a pleasure to appear before your Lordship, but it's a particular pleasure given how long it's been since we've uh, actually been uh, in front of your Lordship in person. Well, it's kind that you say that, and it's, uh, it's mutual. Thank you very much. All right.